Hello everyone, welcome back to RC Lobotics, my name is Carl and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the P40 Warhawk uh, micro scale aeroplane from Steve Webb Models. Uh, just before we open up the box and take a look at this gorgeous model, um, I just want to make a huge shout out to Steve Webb Models for supplying me with this aeroplane. Basically, uh, I've been going to this place since I was a little kid, they make you feel extremely welcome when you're there. They're very, very knowledgeable. They've got everything you could possibly need to do with radar control model flying or radar control model cars or anything radar control, basically. Anything from huge models to small models to everything in between, all your little fixings and bits and your connectors. So thank you very much, Steve Webb Models. There's a link in the description if you can go and find their website and go and take a look at that. Now, let's open up this box and take a look at this gorgeous P-40 Warhawk. So, let's see the box. Let's take a look inside. So these aircraft are currently going for $84.99. Uh, that's how much I got it for. Basically, there's different models in there which go for a little bit cheaper. There was some ones for around about 77 up to 80, 80 pounds. But this is the one I chose. It's a P40 Warhawk. This is the box. It's different model. So in, in this uh, X Hobby range, you also can get the Zero, which is that one on the back. And it shows the P40 in its tail. So yeah, that's great. Just just this, just the art on the box is great. This is the box that you can also keep it in and keep it nice and clean. Stop it getting hanger rash. Because obviously there is, obviously all this polystyrene. I've already had it opened in the model shop to show me. It's something they do actually well for their models. If you want to see the model before you buy it, they're more than happy to open up the box and let you see it. And there it is, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detail on that. For something of this size and something of this price, fantastic little model, fantastic uh, scale. And as you can see, I've not actually even taken the aircraft out yet. So we need something that will get us in. As James May would say, this is not the correct tool for the job, but this is what I have available. A pair of wire snips, but there you go. So there's our aircraft. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's made of, I think it's EPP this, or it might be EPO. I'm not sure. It's very, 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 very durable um, foam. They call it crash resistant. And there we have, you have one servo for your ailerons. And it's got these, these are tiny. I haven't seen this. Yeah, these are tiny little, are they four? They may be three or four gram servos. I'm not sure. We've got our indicators here where we can put our landing legs. It's got a nice little tail uh, wheel here. Full control, you've got rudder, ailerons, and elevator. And that looks like our battery hatch there. And it takes a one cell with these little lossy connectors in there. So I love those lossy connectors. They're fantastic connectors. Um, they don't deteriorate like, like you know the smaller ones do. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. So uh, let's put this to the side, turn the box over and see what you get on the other side. And as you can see, on the other side we get, looks like we get a spare prop. Well this is a three bladed prop, on the plane already is a two bladed prop, so that's great. Because the P40 actually has a three bladed prop and look at that. The scale detail on that tiny, tiny three braided prop, and you get two of them as well. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I don't plan on crashing it at all, uh, but if you, you know, in case you do crash it, that's going to be the first thing that's going to go is your propeller. And here's our little spares and toolkit. So, we've got our one, one cell lipo there with our lossy connector. That's going to be our charger, our undercarriage. And what's that in there? Oh, that seems like it's a spare. See what a spare, or that is the connector for the three-bladed prop. That's fantastic. And then this is the controller. Ooh. Ooh. So there's our controller. Lovely. Do you know what? They are bull raced. So they're bull raced um, sticks. That's fantastic. 2.4 gigahertz. It's got an expert, a mid, and a beginner mode. So three modes on it. And I've been told this button, aerobatics, it, you switch it when it's in beginner mode, I imagine. So we'll, we'll take a look what these modes do and what it means when we're in the air. Uh, but I imagine expert, that's going to be full manual control. Mid, that's going to be, uh, it's going to, I'm imagining this is just, just first impressions out of the box. You're going to throw the stick over to the left and it's either going to only give you a certain amount of bank or when you release the stick, it's going to, right itself i imagine and then beginner that's going to be all 
all steady, rock steady. You can throw the stick over as much as you can and it's only going to give you a tiny amount of bank and it's probably going to right itself once you can let go of the stick. But yeah, uh, the controller takes four double A's, I think. Yes, it does. I'm just going to got some four double A batteries. So what we need to do is put some four double A batteries in the controller, charge our one cell LiPo up and go for a fly. All right, guys, here we are at the field. Came to this beautiful, beautiful field here. And we have the P40 Bullwark. I'm going to go and fly it without the undercarriage because we're on grass here. And we've got the undercarriage, it's absolutely pointless. Uh, all we need to do is install the battery in that, install my four AAs in the transmitter. And what I've also got is the instructions here on how to bind it, so I need to do that before we go and fly. But I'm just going to show you this uh, when you buy yourself one of these. We've got three modes on this switch. So the furthest away from you, all the way away from you, that's expert mode. The middle is mid, which is, it says here, at the middle, soft X pilot assist mode. So it's only sort of assisting you. And then towards you all the way, that is full X pilot uh, beginner mode, beginner crappy mode, which we don't want that. We don't want the instructions. We just want to put the batteries in. Let's get going. Keep the transmitter switched off, throttle joystick at the bottom position. Notice keep X pilot switch in the middle for beginning. There we go. Uh, notice keep the plane still and calm environment. Yeah, connect the battery to the plane, then turn on the transmitter. Give it five seconds. Just standard binding then. Standard binding. There you go. I'm gonna get that at the plane via the Alkiraki. Oh no. It's like buried in there. Six axis gyro or three axis gyro. It calls it a six axis gyro, but it's actually a three axis gyro. There's no such thing as a six axis. There's only three axis, is it? <laughs> it's absolutely so if we're pitching up. I think that's because we're missing the undercarriage. Loop de loop. That was wrong. The centre of gravity is off quite a lot. It's pitching up quite a lot. Full trim all the way down. Mainly got it in beginner mode at the moment. It's not great trying to film a camouflage plane <laughs> on a green background. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing my best. fly this indoors. Need a big house. Hello, 
does float sort of a quarter throttle. I don't even touch the rudder yet, I don't touch the rudder. Just sort of banking and yanking. And beep beep, beep beep beep. <laughs> so I'm trying to put it into high alpha and slow it down, but it's just it's just gonna tip still because of the ball bed. That's in the middle position. Let's try full. Oh, I like it in full beginner mode actually. Full beginner mode is smooth. Oof. Kind of sounds like a wall play. Like the middle position. I think we'll bring it in for one last pass. This is the landing. Slow it down. Nice! And the propeller came... Oof. So basically, uh, on landing, the propeller came straight off. And that's a nice little modification. So when you want to change the propeller, maybe we should try. Try the three blade propeller, see what that does. Because I was wondering, oh, you might have to just screw it on and off, but no, it looks like it literally clips on with. So. And it just basically clips. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. Let's try it with the three blade. Watch it, watch your other one. That's got a lot more power. There we go, fantastic. So that was the P40 Warhawk from uh, Steve Webb Models. As I said, I'll leave a little link in the description where you can go and check out their website, or you can go and visit them. They're uh, based in Frodjum in Helsby, and uh, yeah. Fantastic little model, fantastic um, model shop. I've been Carl Benyon for RC Robotics. I thank you very much. If you like this, sub um, if you like this content, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's just there, up in the corner. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, I'll pop one down in this corner, one down in this corner, and just up in the top corner there. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.